Heel shore flow is defined as Stokes flow between two parallel flat plates separated by an infinitesimally small gap. Various problems in fluid mechanics can be approximated to heel shore flows and thus the research of these flows is of importance. Approximation to heel shore flow is specifically important to microflows. This is due to manufacturing techniques, which creates shallow planar configurations, and the typically low Reynolds numbers of microflows. The governing equation of heel shore flows is identical to that of the inviscid potential flow into the flow of fluids through a porous medium. It thus permits visualization of this kind of flow in two dimensions. Mathematical formulation of heel shore flows let be the directions parallel to the flat plates, and the perpendicular direction, with being the gap between the plates. When the gap between plates is asymptotically small the velocity profile in the direction is parabolic. The equation relating the pressure gradient to the velocity is, where is the velocity, is the local pressure, is the fluid viscosity. This relation and the uniformity of the pressure in the narrow direction permits us to integrate the velocity with regard to and thus to consider an effective velocity field in only the two dimensions and when substituting this equation into the continuity equation and integrating over we obtain the governing equation of heel shore flows. This equation is supplemented by the no penetration boundary conditions on the side walls of the geometry where is a unit vector perpendicular to the side wall, heel shore cell. The term heel shore cell is commonly used for cases in which a fluid is injected into the shallow geometry from above or below the geometry, and when the fluid is bounded by another liquid or gas. For such flows the boundary conditions are defined by pressures and surface tensions.